G'day. I have the absolute pleasure and honor to have a bit of a chat with Clifford, who's the Lenovo Region Category Manager at the recent Lenovo Innovate 24 event. What an absolute great event that was. Now, we had a chat about their new thermal solution, which is called the Cold Front Hyper Chamber. And I thought I should share his explanation about this new Cold Front Hyper Chamber and his experience with you guys. As well, because we don't really need that full air intake. Yeah. Okay, because that's uh indirect and very indirect and messy airflow. Right. Okay. So the idea is very very targeted airflow yep. through the air intakes going in here. Yep. And then this entire block, right? This entire block is an integrated system. Right. The benefit of the integrated system yep. is that right, everything is still. Yeah. Everything is still. Still, yep. Right. So this is important, right? Because if uh, if it's not sealed or if it's a separated system, yeah, it airflow lose, may it lose a bit of efficiency. Yeah, efficiency is correct. It will actually seep through all the gaps that is not intended, right? So with this new way of integrated integrating it, uh, there is no air gaps. Yep. Now, and and then where where the gaps are is actually over here, right at the side. Okay, yep. Yep. Right, and that's when the airflow is directed out towards the middle. Middle. Okay, but if we do not create this chamber, this hyper chamber, hyperbaric chamber, to yeah. prevent the air from flowing downwards, air will just disperse around yeah, the system, exactly, yeah. right? But by creating a seal, by creating a seal okay, on the yeah. bottom cover. Oh, uh, it's done by the bottom cover. Okay, yep. Right, see, yep. so it creates a seal. You can see over here, it yep. continues here. Got it. Right, continues here, over the memory, and yep. over this block. Okay. Yes, yep. when the cool air actually goes through here, it can't escape from the bottom and then that is driven towards towards the back. That's now when it's yep. driven towards the back for our lock, it comes up from the back over here and as well as the back. Okay. It's time. Yeah, yeah, it comes out from here. Yep, and, as well as here. Oh, and also through the um the, yes, in between. Oh yes, I see the between the ports. Okay, yeah, yeah, I see now. Right? I get it. Yes, yeah. I get it now. So and, and, and this is another piece in the pie uh, of the puzzle, right? Is yeah. that the, the rubber feet here is extends across the whole laptop because we do not want the whole air, the yeah. hot air that's expelled yeah. from mixing with the, the front. Cool air. Yep. Right. Yes. So air is directed, the cool air is drawn in here, it will expelled towards the back and doesn't come back. So you're not thinking. Cool. Now that makes all the sense. Yes. Yes. Right. So now I understand what that seal is for. Yes. Okay. Sure. So hyper chamber, right? Yeah. Uh, we have proven it works, right? Yeah. So some very something something very simple, but really innovating it. And then you know we, we saw an error and we keep testing. Yeah. And we, this is how we. So this it. is just using normal just heat pipe system itself. Yes. And then later on you may do like vapor with the possible, hyper chamber. Possible. Yeah. Correct. Actually, it's uh, not just heat pipes, right? Uh, these are not solid heat pipes. Yeah. These are um if um. If I saw it open for you, you'll see that it's actually carbon. Oh, yeah. And it's as ferrous metal in the yep. absolute, yeah. right? So what uh, is, in a sense, uh, a form of hyper, uh, a vapor chamber, yeah. uh, be yeah. because it yes. can then transfer that yes. heat transfer much it. faster. Yeah. Yes. So follow the bikes. So with the hyper chamber, besides the orientation of the fan um, being changed and also the ceiling, has there been any improvements or changes with the blade, uh, the fan blades or design or anything like that? Oh yes, we we, we actually do um, develop, uh, uh, we tweak our, our fan blades slightly, but um, that's, it's, I, I, would be, I would say that that's just a small part of the overall uh, hyper chamber. I, I believe that the biggest uh, change actually do come from uh, the, the chamber design itself. Uh, the fans are actually um, slightly tweaked from last generation. Um, and, but for the fans, um, the benefit of the fans is not so much to, as to improve cooling, but to reduce the noise. So the fan blades will actually, uh, tweak slightly to improve the acoustics when you are gaming. So it doesn't come out as, um, you know, it comes out as a whoosh rather than, you know, an annoying blow sound, right? Yeah. So it's more for, for, for the sound profile. This was our last generation. Okay. The fan spins upwards nice. so that the air gets pushed up from the sides and the back. The new uh, Legion Pro Front Hyper Chamber now changes the orientation of the fans. The fans are oriented yeah, to the blow inwards. And you notice the blades, the fan blades as well. The fan blades are actually directed inwards. So when this spins, air is then pushed in through the center. There's only one way out, right? When air is being forced through the center, okay, the easiest way out is the outlets, which is towards the back. And that's where the airflow and the goes towards the back. 
Now, what happens when it goes in this direction, right? When you pull into the uh, center and towards the back, is that these are the most heat generating components, right? You have your CPU, your GPU, your uh, chipset, PCH, and then uh, your VRMs, VRAMs, they're all over um, these uh, heat, heat pipes, right? They get cooled all at the same time. So this is a much more efficient way of cooling the shard, much more efficient way of cooling us. And of course, towards the back as well, right? These heat pipes will, will, will bring some of the heat to over here, uh, to the heat sinks. And there is an air outlet here as, as well, right? That will cool it further. So all in all, right? And I've demonstrated that yeah. if you do a comparison from our previous gen and this generation, this is four vents. This is two vents. Louder, quieter, but higher performance on the new version. As a great side effect of this hyper chamber is that now we no longer have the side vents, which is absolutely fantastic. So overall, this is a much more quiet system and performs a lot better than the previous one. So it runs actually with laptops much cooler. Absolutely fantastic. It's a double win there. Now I hope you find this video informative and enjoyed it. If you did, even support my channel, smash that like button for the share this video. It does help me out. And as always, imperfections in life makes me beautiful and interesting. And I'll see you next video.